Hi YouTube, there is a problem around with um, the flash player that will make videos on YouTube, especially with the flash player plugin look um, or bluish, the bluish tone. And the problem is located within the flash player code itself. However, Nvidia, no, 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 not Nvidia, um, Adobe refuses to fix the problem. On top of that, it is a very stupid problem. They swapped. They, they, there's a library. This is called libvdpal, which is a video overlay library to make it possible for those applications like the Flash Player plugin to, ex, uh, to access hardware acceleration on on a Linux system. And the problem is that they broke it quite stupidly by interchanging two function arguments with the color channel <laughs> and this is why it looks all bluish looks like looks a little bit like that I fixed it already with it uh, yeah if you have if you have a problem you know what I mean it's all bluish what you have to do is use um, the libvdpal uh, library version 0 0.5 which has a special configuration option to fix this on a library level since Adobe just doesn't want to do it, refuses to do it um, This is not where it's supposed to be. Next step is you have to it etc vd power wrapper config and say enable flash uv swap the, the argument swap to one and this is basically it Alternative of um, well, bad workaround is just disabling the hardware acceleration on this thing, which isn't good. Let's check this out now. Okay, let's watch this one. Hi Josh, um, today, well, I recently heard that, um, I saw a lot of videos that... Well, that's basically the option to enable the hardware acceleration, um, it's right there on the front settings of the Adobe Flash plugin, and once you enable this, you have this blue toned problem with newer GPUs, Using the BDPAL as as a hardware acceleration uh, library, you have to be aware. You have to be aware that the Flash Player plugin also uh, not the Flash Player plugin, uh, M Player and, and various other video tools also use.
this library. Let's check it out on the SRI version now. Oh, from the day it's correct. Yeah, that's the version that install it installs itself on. Okay. Okay. This should fix those issues. Um, you, if you disable the hardware acceleration, uh, that's a problem. Yeah, next problem. <laughs> I hate flash player. The next problem is. If you disable the hardware acceleration, it will look uh, quite crummy. And also, if you use high resolution video, 720p or even 1080p, it can't keep up. It's too slow. And this is basically how to fix the problem. Um, let's try this out on a higher resolution video if you find any <laughs> I'll just take one of mine seven hundred twenty that's okay looks good yeah this is how it has to look like all right good or not <laughs> no that's just because it is too slow because I have uh, a lot of net uh, network traffic going on so if you have this problem just install uh, 0.5 version of libidipar, use the configuration option for the flash player with uh, the wrapper configuration and the thing should work fine again. It's very nasty anyhow. Alright, thanks for watching and see you soon.